Uh, you've already uh, been able to see a quick introduction to the way I'm using Canvas in this shell, but just really wanted to start by thinking about the way that you should plan your week and talk briefly about assignments. Uh, and so you've seen already that there's a lot of material on Canvas. Um, basically, it's worth working through it in bits. Be aware that most of the reading is on Canvas, so there's no need for you to escape out and go into other places. Um, very few of the recommended readings are not actually embedded into the Canvas themselves. Uh, what you will find is that um, there are some stretch readings where you they'll be linked and you can go outside either to textbooks that are in the library or external websites or whatever to have a look around. Strongly, strongly, strongly urge you to do that if you have time. But for the purpose of getting ready for your tutorial each week, um, just make sure you have it at a least high level, have a look at each of the actions. Activities. And as I mentioned, all of the materials chunked up into activities. Some weeks there are as many as five. Like every week, one of the activities will be watching these pre recorded videos. But sometimes there are a range of other activities as well. And um, sometimes there's only one or two. Sometimes there are four. Like in the first couple of weeks, there are four. What I've tried to do with that is trying to bundle the things of like actually at this study session, just work your way through one activity. It should be sort of reasonable to do in an hour, an hour and a half or so, just working through, reading, thinking about the issues and if you're up for it, uh, making the reflection notes, uh, answering the discussion questions or participating in the, the uh, inbuilt activities that we've put into Canvas for you. Um, I get it, everybody studies differently, but I find it kind of useful to not just have this overwhelming list of things to do and to know, hey, this is an activity, this is a chunk, this is some stuff that goes together. And at the end of each of those chunks, I wish I could have called them chunks instead of activities, but it just seemed a little unprofessional. Anyway, at the end of each of those, when you and I, let's call them chunks, there is a little quiz, three questions usually, most of the activities have one, not all of them, but most of them do. And that's really just an opportunity for you to test your learning, whether you've understood, and to help you identify the questions that you can. Spoiler alert, the activities are likely to be uh, replicated or addressed in some way in our tutorials. We'll be drawing on the case studies, both real and imagined, that uh, we've put together for this course in the tutorials when we move forward. Um, so, as I mentioned, check your understanding. Um, the last activity each time we'll be watching these videos. I'm putting them as the last activity, but you've probably seen that the uh, videos roughly match with earlier activities as well, so you decide how you want to watch them. And then ultimately, once you've done all of that, you're heading to the workshop. So make sure that you've blocked out time to do that each week. So I would suggest at least two chunks of about 90 minutes or so uh, to work through the week's materials in addition to uh, the watching of the video lectures, which should take you about an hour, an hour and a half again. And then, of course, there's the two-hour tutorial. Uh, so, yeah, this is not a subject for the faint-hearted, uh, but then none of the uh, you know, sort of none of the courses that you're doing are, I know that. Um, and then the other thing you need to plan for in advance is working on your assignments. Uh, so it's important to recognise that your first assignment is due at the end of week five. It's only worth 15%. Uh, and basically, as we work through the materials in weeks one to four, you're going to uh, do quite a lot of work towards that assignment anyway. Um, assignment two and assignment three will probably require more time set aside to make sure that you get them done on time. They'll require more individual research uh, at a level of depth. So the kind of conceit, for want of a better word, that we have for this course is uh, you get to pick an industry that you're really interested in that you would like to work in. Uh, then you get to pick a company in that industry that would 
be the place that would offer you your dream job. And we imagine that you are working in that company. There are a few constraints. That company needs to be an Australian company or at least have operations in Australia. And it needs to be a company in an industry that is likely to be disrupted. And we talk about uh, what disruption is next week. So it's likely to be disrupted by some of these emerging technologies, AI and blockchain in particular. And your your role over the course of this semester will be to inform other people in the organisation about the legal considerations that they'll need to take into account as they decide whether or not to adopt or implement these technologies uh, and to make recommendations about what it is that they need to do. The first one will be just a little position paper. The second one, you'll put together a training program that somebody else will deliver. So you will be putting together the slide pack that the recipients of the training program, junior people in your organisation will see, and speaking notes that your boss who will deliver this training program will use And the last assignment, uh, basically, it's kind of like a job interview in a way, but a job interview where you already work in the organisation. And so basically your boss is going to put you in front of a panel. Uh, That panel is going to want to see how you present yourself. So you'll be doing a very, very short little video explaining a legal consideration in AI, blockchain or big data that you find particularly interesting and that is relevant to your chosen industry and company. And you'll explain what the risks are, what the issues are and what needs to happen. And you're going to write a more detailed report. Now, that last one will be a lot of fun in particular because that's the one where we're going to focus particularly on what's happening in the future, where the industry is going, what's likely to happen next. And in this fast-paced world of artificial intelligence, big data and blockchain, uh, there are lots of different things that we can talk about. So... um, I will give you quite a lot of assignment feed forward in our tutorials. Uh, So if you have questions about any of them, focus on assignment one before you get too worried about the others. Uh, But they're a great thing for you to bring to class with you. And you will also see the way that Canvas has been built. It should be very clear how and why the different exercises are going to help you with each of your assignments as you work, walk, work your way through the materials. So uh, let us continue and talk about uh, what it takes, what makes a good law. In fact, I'm not going to continue. I'm going to make a separate video. Uh, In the meantime, questions, concerns, frustrations or compliments, you know where to find me. And in the next video, we'll talk about some of these jurisprudential issues.